Hello and welcome to Rockingham for round seven, eight and nine of the Dunlop MSA Formula Ford Championship of Great Britain. So far this year, we've seen some fantastic racing action, but none of it would be possible without a team of very special people who often get forgotten. The engineers are often the unsung heroes of motorsport as they have a very important part to play as well as the drivers. The engineers and mechanics mean everything because without them we won't be racing. Um, it's important when after a session you've got the feedback on what the car needs and tell them and then they can work on it accordingly. Each driver in the championship has a dedicated engineer. I'm one of the mechanics uh, for one of the drivers and um, there's three of us uh, because there's three cars, one mechanic per car. Um, so that's basically my role for the, this weekend. And what do you do? Before, between and after sessions, uh, we prepare the cars, we span and check them basically and repair them if there's any damages, uh, just to make sure that uh, the cars are 100% ready for when the drivers race or practice. The engineer has a number of responsibilities. At the circuit, setting the car up for the circuit itself, you know, slight changes for each circuit you come to. Rockingham's quite an abrasive circuit, so it can, it's known to heat tyres and use tyres quickly. Um, and then just working with the drivers really to help them progress because you know, a lot of drivers are straight from karting and just getting them used to the movement of the suspension and the tyres. While the drivers are off resting and making sure they're ready to race, the engineers can often be found working late into the night, repairing damage and fine-tuning the car to make sure the driver gets the best performance. When a driver has an incident and the car is damaged, it's the engineer's responsibility to make sure that the car is repaired and that it's safe and able to race again. I do tell him every time he goes out not to shun. So that's worked so far this year. He hasn't had a crush yet in a race. Uh, yeah, he can be here for a while. They take a corner off, or a couple. Just hope they don't. Is it all hands on deck at that point? Everyone thinks, right, we've got to get, get on oh, and yeah. stay here the night? Yeah, you have to help each other out in that kind of situation. Normally you just try and get the, if there's cars intact, finish them first and then everyone jump on the one that's been, yeah, we can be here for quite a while sometimes. The 2011 British Formula Ford champion Scott Mulvan started as a mechanic for the Jamin Racing Team and worked his way up to dominating the championship. So it wasn't really what we planned to do. Um, I wanted initially to drive, but um, when I spoke to James initially, he uh, he said he was all full up. So um, you know, if I wanted to come along and sort of help out for a day or two, you know, come and do that. But uh, I come and I come along and helped, and I just ended up turning into a mechanic sort of at the end of the day. And uh, yeah, it was a good experience for me. It was a really good experience. Um, you know, I don't think I would know what I know now if I hadn't have done it. You know, I really. Um, really helped me when, when I did make the transition to as, as a driver. You know, it really helped me understand what, you know, what, I needed to, what I needed to change on the car and what I needed to do. So it certainly seems like the engineers have their work cut out looking after this year's crop of young drivers. But it just goes to show you don't necessarily need to be a driver to be involved in the Dunlop MSA Formula Ford Championship of Great Britain.